Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you, geographer and educator with Map Bowtie on. I've been teaching online for quite a few decades, and when I think about my favorite teaching online with Zoom tip, it is as follows. Let's say you've got a PowerPoint presentation. First of all, how do I most effectively show that in a Zoom or other platform online teaching mode? If you show it like this, where you've got these tiles, these little views of the slides, it, it's okay, but it's not as professional as it could be. Then if you switch it to the slideshow mode, then you've got this issue going on where, uh, okay, it doesn't match my screen, and then where do I get my zoom tools? So what I do is as follows. I save that PowerPoint as a PDF file. And once I do that, I'm gonna drag it in my browser tab as a PDF, I'm going to open a new tab, and then I just drag that PDF up to the browser tab. Great. This is all contingent upon whether your browser can read PDFs directly, so you might need to do some setup in your browser. But in my case, I've got it set up that way, and now, as you can see, I've got the PowerPoint inside my browser tab. And now I can just use the right arrows to move between slides. Okay, I can teach my content. Another advantage of that is that everything is in the browser, which is great for me because I'm teaching online. I have all kinds of mapping tools, for example, that are interactive that I want to display in other tabs and things that I and others have written that I want to refer to, videos, etc. They're all right in these tabs. But you see what I mean? Focused on the PowerPoint one, that's, that's a set of slides and I've got that here. And that way, another advantage is if you're in PowerPoint and you're presenting, you've probably encountered this before, you're on slide number 20 and then you, and then you go out to another application, you come back in and sometimes it goes back to slide number one. The advantage here is that if I am in this and I'm on slide number six, if I go back to, let's do some interactive mapping and, and so on and so forth inside my mapping set of tools, and let's say I discuss uh, some, some articles, show some videos, if I come back to my tab where my slides are located, it's right where I left off. So another advantage, it just makes it a lot more professional and seamless and allows you as the instructor to move between tabs and show the content that you want to show. And it also, for your recipients, your viewers, your students, whoever you're teaching, it allows them a better learning experience as well. Thanks and keep on teaching.